Hey everyone, it's Jersey Mike, and what I have for you today is an actual display that I put together of a three-zoned hydronic boiler system. And I'm going to show you guys how to actually wire this in. And it's not just a model, we're actually going to plug it in when we're done wiring it, and we're going to watch the internals of the zone valve and see how that actually works to turn our boiler on and off. And we're going to see the boiler light up literally because I have a light bulb tied into that boiler circuit so when the boiler turns on the light comes on when the boiler shuts down the light goes off so one of the key things to understanding all of this zone valve wiring is that there's actually two separate 24 volt circuits going on here one 24 volt circuit is going to come from a transformer outside of the boiler and that circuit powers the motor inside the zone valve you're always going to have 24 volts going from your transformer to your zone valve and then back to the common on your transformer. But in that circuit, if we don't have something to turn it on and off, that motor's gonna run all the time. So our switch to turn that motor on and off is actually our thermostat. Our second circuit is coming from inside the boiler and that's our T and T wires. So what we do when we install these things, we run a thermostat wire inside the boiler we hook up to those two T and T wires, and then we run our thermostat wire up to our zone valves here, and that's these two wires. So we have two wires here from the external transformer to power our motor inside the zone valve, which is turned on and off by our thermostat. And we have our two wires here from our T and T, which is our second 24 volt circuit from inside the boiler, and that powers our end switch inside of here. Now I have an end switch here I pulled out for you guys. It's just this little button right there and that little button actually turns our boiler on and off so when our thermostat calls for heat it turns this motor on there's a little lever back here that'll push that button in and our boiler fires up when the thermostat doesn't need heat anymore it shuts the power down turns the motor off the motor lifts off that button and our boiler shuts down all right so what we're going to do is i'm going to show you guys i'm going to wire in just one zone valve for now and we're going to see how that works basically the 24 volts comes from our load well for our external transformer comes up this red wire here so what we're going to do is we're going to tie that directly into one of the yellow wires which goes into our motor all right, so now we have the 24 volts coming from our external transformer into our motor on our yellow wire, and it's going to come back out our motor on the other yellow wire. So now the 24 volts, we want to send that up to the thermostat. So we will take our red wire from our thermostat, and this goes to the R terminal inside of here, and we're going to hook it to up to the other yellow wire coming out of the motor. So when the 24 volts goes into the motor, it'll come out of the motor, then it'll go up to the thermostat on the R terminal. Now up here on the thermostat, when it's calling for heat, it's going to close the connection between the R terminal and our W terminal. That's our heating terminal. So when the thermostat's calling for heat, it's going to send that 24 volts to the W terminal, and that's going to come back on our white wire down to the zone valves. This is going to go straight back to our common on our transformer. So I have the green here. Usually it's going to be white, but I have the green hooked up to the common on our transformer. And that's going to come back from our W from the thermostat. And that's going to close our circuit. So that's it. That's, that's one circuit there we got wired in. So now we have to hook in the other circuit that actually turns the boiler on and off. So that's our T and T circuit. So we have 24 volts coming in from our boiler. And I'm going to hook that up to our end switch inside the zone valve. So that's going to send 24 volts to our end switch, that little button in there. All right, and when that button is pushed in, the 24 volts will come back out on the other red wire, and we're just going to go to the common back inside the boiler on your TNT. And that's it. You have your zone valve wired in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. This simulates us turning our breaker on at the breaker panel. I'm going to turn our boiler on. All right, so now we have power to the system. And now I'm going to turn our thermostat into heating mode, bring the temperature up so that we can call for heat. 
and then we're going to see the thermostat close the terminal between R and W. It's going to send 24 volts down to the motor. The motor is going to spin the gear, push our end switch in, and our boiler is going to turn on. So now I'm going to take it out of heating mode. And this uh, The thermostat will break the connection between R and W. That circuit will open. The motor will start backing off the button and our boiler shuts down.